a human being is never fully free from conditions, be they of biological or psychological or sociological uh, uh, kind. But the ultimate freedom is always and remains always reserved to ourselves. That is the freedom to take a stand to whatever conditions might confront us. How we react to the unchangeable conditions is up to ourselves. In other words, if we cannot change the situation, we have always the last freedom to change our attitude to that situation. Welcome everyone to World Class Wednesday. Some rare footage there from the great Viktor Frankl talking about our freedom to choose our attitude. And it's so fitting for today's lesson, champions believe in choice. Just as amateurs see themselves as victims of circumstance, professional performers believe they possess the ultimate human freedom, the power to choose. Average people get out of bed in the morning and say, I have to go to work. Champions know they don't have to do anything they choose not to do. This mindset impacts every decision of both amateurs and professionals. Amateurs feel they're at the mercy of the gods. Professionals carefully construct a life based on a series of choices they make. This sense of control increases the professional's ambitious drive. It's also one of the reasons champions appear to be so much happier than average people. They know their choices really control their destiny. They believe they can be anyone they want to be, do anything they want to do, and have anything they want to have. Their belief in this concept becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, which builds psychological momentum and makes the belief stronger every day. Your action step for today is to make a list of the things you feel you have no choice about doing and revisit each one. Do you really have to do them or are you choosing to do them? Could some of the less desirable things be omitted simply by making a choice? Delusion says you must do these things. Objective reality says you always have a choice because you are always in control. You have chosen wisely. Your world-class resource is Choice Theory by Dr. William Glasser. This is a book that removes any sense of victim mentality any of us may have. Are you a product of nature or nurture? And almost everyone says it's nurture or a combination. And I try to make a point that it's neither. It's a product of choice because you can choose your response to both nature and nurture. You could have, for instance, a genetic disease inside you and never get it simply because you make the lifestyle choices of the proper food and exercise and medicine or you could have been abused as a child you don't have to abuse your own child you have the power to reinvent yourself mm -hmm.